Thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of the Quicken Guy. It is my mission to make sure that you have the best user experience with your Quicken software. If you have not done so already, please click on the subscribe button below to get news, updates, and tutorials for your Quicken product. Also, if you have any questions, please comment below and I will respond to them as soon as possible. All right, let's get started for today. Today we will be discussing how to resolve error code uh, CC501. Again, that is error code CC501. This error code happens when you try to update your accounts and they will not, of course, update or download any brand new transactions. And I know that can be quite concerning and can be frustrating as well when you're trying to um, get the latest of what has happened at your financial institution. All right, what you would have to do to resolve this issue uh, one of two things, it is to refresh your um, bank account settings. And the way that you would do that is that you would need to click on the account that's in question and um, that you received the CC501 for and click on that account name. Some of you may have your account listed on the left and some on the right, but make sure you click on your account name. Now, I do need to say I am using Quicken 2017 and the... Um, Setup is just a little different, but I will explain the differences between Quicken 2017 and previous versions as well. Uh, to refresh your um, account uh, settings, uh, first of all, as I said, click on the actual account name. Then you will need to come all the way over to the right hand side of the screen. Now, uh, pay attention to my um, pointer very closely. Uh, because if you are using Quicken 2014, which is soon to be discontinued on April the 30th of this year of 2017, or you're using Quicken 2015 and 2016, when you come to the right hand side of the screen, you will see a gear that's right up under the arrow. Then you will see a gear right here, as you see here. Then you'll see another gear that's right here as well. Uh, now in Quicken 2017, you do not have the gear that's right below the X um, on the top on the right hand side. So what you want to do uh, in all versions of the software, you want to click on the gear that has the down pull arrow right here. And to refresh your account settings, click on that gear and then click on update now. Once you click on update now, you may be asked for your vault password or your Intuit ID password if you're using your Intuit ID for your vault password. Let's get that keyed in here. Just a reminder real quick, this um, particular type of update is different than your one step update uh, by clicking on the one step update icon or even clicking on the arrow beside the one step update icon to update accounts there or going to tools and one step update. This particular update that's found on the right hand side of the screen, um, it is specifically to update or refresh your account settings. Uh, once you uh, have clicked on the gear with the arrow, with the down pull arrow, excuse me, you'll come to uh, a rectangle box after you've keyed in your vault password or your Intuit ID password, and then you will click on update now. In some cases, some of you um, that um, do not use the vault, you have to key your password in right here in this area as well. All right, click on update now. If you're using a direct connect connection, you may be prompted to change your password, but do not change your password. Hear me again. Do not change your password here. I simply uh, delete the password that's where, where it says existing password and make sure all three fields are blank. Click on OK. Then it says for security purposes, please enter a new password. Click on OK again and it will go away and it will start updating your accounts.
All right. So in my case, it worked. I um, downloaded my brand new transactions and I have one transaction here, uh, which is great. Now, uh, this uh, procedure, it should have worked for you. Uh, but if it did not work for you and you still got the error code CC501, what you would want to do, and this is very important, and I know it may be a little frustrating or concerning, but it is very important that you wait 24 to 48 hours before you come back to your software and um, attempt to update those accounts again. It is very important that you wait 24 to 48 hours. And at that particular point, what you would do uh, you will follow these steps. Of course, I did not come back with the error code CC501, but these are the steps that you will follow. Click on tools, then click on account list. By the account that's in question, you want to click on edit to the right of it. Then you want to click on online services. Then you want to click on deactivate. Then click on yes to confirm the deactivation. Since I'm using a direct connect connection method, it's going to ask me a couple of more questions. It says you are about to delete setup information for an online account to cancel the services. You must uh, call your financial institution. This is simple if you're closing your account, so you don't have to call your financial institution. Click OK. Uh, once the account is fully deactivated up here, you'll see where it says set up now. It says set up now. Now. Uh, I'm going to take you through an uh, extra step as well uh, to clean your file up. So click on OK. Then click on Done in the lower right hand corner. Then click on File. Come down and click on File Operations. Click on Validate and Repair. Put a check mark by Validate File. Then click OK. If anything comes up, ask you to save it. Go ahead and click on Save. All right, the validation has completed. You can close out of the data log file here. Then you'll come back and click on tools. Click on account list. The account that's in question, click on edit. Online services. Then set up now. And type in your username and password. going to save your password click on save password you'll be uh, prompted to put in your vault password or your intuit id password if you're using that for your vault password click on sign in now while i'm signing in here today i do need to let you know in advance that um when you deactivate your accounts, you will not lose any data at all. There is no loss of data in any shape, form, or fashion. This is just giving you a fresh connection to your financial institution. Uh, once you've put that password in, you um, put in your vault password, assigned in with your Intuit ID, click on connect. All right. Once again, if you're using a direct connect connection here, you may uh, be prompted to change your password. You do not have to change your password here. Make sure that all three fields are blank. Click OK. Click OK again and it will continue. All right. So now I only have one account that's in this particular um, file. And I got to make sure it's linked up to the corresponding account. All right. And the rest of these, I'm just going to ignore. Then click on next. Once again, it may ask you to change the password. You do not have to change the password, but please take the um, existing password out. Make sure all three fields are blank. Click OK. Click OK again. All right, and now I have a check mark here and there are no errors. Then I click on finish, then I click on done, and that should fix your problem after you have waited 24 to 48 hours. 
Well, that's it for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Always remember, it is my mission to make sure you have the best user experience with your Quicken software. Also, if you if you have not done so already, please click on the subscribe button below to get news, updates, and tutorials for your Quicken product. If you have any questions or something you would like me to add to my channel, please comment below, and I will respond as soon as possible. Once again, this is the Quicken Guy, and until next time, have a great day.